Welcome to another episode of Fort Bend Mathematics Tutoring. Take a moment to soothe your nerves. Remember, these is just numbers. They can't hurt nobody. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring, and today's tutorial is going to be about adding decimals. So, in problem number one, ladies and gentlemen, we have 426 and 25 hundredths plus 38 and 12 hundredths. One thing you should know anytime you're adding or subtracting decimals is that you must always line up the decimals, ladies and gentlemen. You'll only do that when you're adding and subtracting decimals, however, okay? So since my decimals are lined up, I'm going to go ahead and bring down my decimal, and then I'm going to add, starting from the right to the left. Here I have 5 plus 2, which is 7. I have 2 plus 1, which is 3. Then I have 6 plus 8. That gives me 14. I'm going to carry my 1 here. I have 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. And then I'll bring down that 4, because 4 plus 0 is just 4. And this gives me my result, 464 and 37 hundredths. All right, that's the answer. I'm going to put a red box around it, okay? And that's that. That's problem number one, and here we have problem number two. In problem number two, we have 20 and 7 tenths plus 30 and 124 ten thousandths. I always prefer to stack my numbers vertically when I'm adding my decimals, or if I'm subtracting them for that matter. So I'm not going to leave it in this form. Instead, I would rewrite the problem as 30 and 124 ten thousandths plus 20 and 7 tenths. What I would advise you to do is to go ahead and put in some placeholders here where we don't have any value so that it will help you organize your numbers a bit better. Remember that since I have my decimals aligned, I'm going to go ahead and start by bringing that decimal down so I won't forget it. And we'll be adding the digits from right to left. So I have 4 plus 0, that gives me 4. 2 plus 0 is still 2. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 7 is 7. 0 plus 0 gives me 0. And finally, 3 plus 2 is 5. So that I end up with a result that is 50 and 7,124 10,000 and this is the answer to problem number two. Once again, I have a red box coming. Here we go. Just like that. All right. So that was problem number two. On to the next. In our next problem, we have 1 and 6 hundredths plus 9. Here you have a decimal showing in your first number, but you don't necessarily have the decimal showing in the latter. So what you should know is that any time you have a whole number, or an integer for that matter, the decimal will always fall behind that last digit. Okay, so here in this 9, the decimal falls behind the 9. So if I were to set this up and putting the larger number first, which is an option, by the way, you can go ahead and set it up as 9 with two placeholders here for your tenths and hundredths place, plus 1 and 6 hundredths. So I'm adding in the placeholders those extra zeros there, those insignificant digits, so that I can organize the numbers there. So I can have something for every place value where I'm going to be adding. I'm going to bring down that decimal that is already aligned, and then 0 plus 6 is 6, 0 plus 0 is 0, and then finally 9 plus 1 is always 10. So my answer here is 10 and 6 hundredths, and that's the answer. All right, so that was problem number three. Looking at problem number four, we have 2 and 3 tenths plus 729 thousandths plus 23. Once again, I'll be rewriting these numbers vertically, making sure that the decimals are aligned. So I'm going to rewrite it as 23. I have 2 and 3 tenths, and I also have my 729 thousandths. All right. So notice that I've made sure that each of the numbers had at least three decimal places showing since my smallest place value is the thousands place. I do have all of the decimals aligned, so I'm going to bring down that decimal and then I'm going to add all of the numbers starting from the right to the left. So 0 plus 0 plus 9, that gives me 9. Then adding 0 plus 0 plus 2, I have 2 here. 0 plus 3 is 3 and then 3 plus 7 is 10, so I'll bring down a 0 and I'll carry a 1 here. 1 plus 3 is 4. four 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 0 is still 6, and then 2 plus 0 is just going to be 2. So my answer here is going to be 26 and 29 thousandths for problem number 4. All right, so we're just making sure that we write our numbers vertically and that we have our decimals showing. Then finally, we add our numbers from right to left. All right, let's look at problem number 5. 
In problem number five, you have the values 34 hundredths plus 3 and 5 tenths plus 127 thousandths plus 768 all being added together. I'm going to stack these numbers vertically by rewriting it as 768. I'm going to add three places behind the decimal because my smallest place value is the thousandths place. Then I'll be adding my 3 and 5 tenths. Then I'll be adding my 34 hundredths. Then I'll be adding my 127 thousandths. All right. So once I have everything set up, everything is aligned, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down my decimal and I'm going to add. So I have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 7, that's just 7. Adding 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 2 is 6. Then I have 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 3 gives me 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9. Then in the 1's column, I have 8 plus 3, which is 11. 11 plus 0 is still 11, so I'll bring down a 1, and I'm going to carry a 1 here. 1 plus 6 gives me 7, and then I'm going to bring down my last 7 here in that hundreds place. This gives me a result of 771 and 967 thousandths. This is the answer, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That takes care of problem number 5. On to the next problem, ladies and gentlemen. On to the next, we have our next problem, which is problem number six. So in problem number six here, you have a negative seven and 201 thousandths minus one and nine tenths. So notice that we have negative values in this problem. Like signs add when you're combining your negative values. So I'll be setting up this problem as negative seven and 201 thousandths minus one and nine tenths. The reason why I'm setting it up this way is because when you have like signs, they're going to add. So when I have a negative value combined with another negative value, I'm going to end up with a negative value, and I definitely want to show that my decimals are aligned. So I will be adding these digits from right to left. So 1 plus 0 is going to be 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 9 gives me 11, so I bring down a 1, and I'm going to carry a 1 here. 1 plus 7 is 8, and then finally 8 plus 1 gives me 9. So my result is negative 9 and 101 thousandths as my final result for problem number 6. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes adding decimals with Fort Bend Tutoring and Mr. Witt. As always, please rate, comment, and definitely subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're able, please donate. That helps us bring you more free math videos. Peace. We certainly hope you enjoyed today's mathematic presentations. Did you learn anything? Do you need to review your notes? Take a deep breath and congratulate yourself. I am learning mathematicals.